right guys welcome back gm light here so i was watching wrestling kind of catching up on things i haven't been into it in a while but i've been wanting to because one performer in particular bray wyatt has been back for a little while and he's building up a new character i absolutely love this guy i love everything that he's done with the fiend with the eater of worlds he is an incredible wrestler and he's also just an incredible storyteller in general and why i bring this up i think he lends himself perfectly for a horror movie and I'd love to see him write direct and star in his own horror movie he's able to come up with very multifaceted and kind of complicated villains monsters and they're usually very horror centric there's a always a ton of lore there's subliminal messaging he always inserts some kind of overarching theme or message in every kind of gimmick that he does everything he comes up with and it lends itself perfectly to any kind of movie or theatrical experience when COVID hit my enjoyment of wrestling took quite a bit of a hit without like the energy of the crowd and everything it was difficult to feel the same level of excitement that you would ordinarily feel watching a wrestling match. But in WrestleMania in 2020, Bray Wyatt just showed an extremely abstract look into his character of The Fiend when he fought John Cena. There was so much trippy imagery and the match was pretty much him taking John Cena through all of his different eras and kind of reconciling with both of their past. But he also just was able to deliver an extremely creepy bizarre and trippy experience that just it sticks to me to this day i still like to watch it he also did it with braun Strowman at i believe it was extreme rules that same year with a theatrical match where again he forces braun Strowman to kind of reconcile with his past as the black sheep he shows him different things and all of it lends itself so well to its own movie what kind of bothers me about what they've done with Bray Wyatt this time is that he's been wasted a ton of different times. He's been buried. And there's so much tragedy to the real guy, Wyndham Rotunda. He struggles with a lot of problems, mental health. And when he was mentally at his worst with the passing of Luke Harper, he got kicked again while he was down. WWE fired him. And I think that the only reason he was able to reconcile with management was because Vince was gone. And it's unfortunate. He's had to see his talent get squandered over and over again. It's been wasted. There's been terrible matches, like the no contest decision from Hell in a Cell in 2019. Terrible. His universal title loss to Goldberg, that was absolute dog shit. And it's a bummer to just see his characters not fully appreciated or realized because he put so much time and thought into constructing them and everything around them. He spends so much time developing them, building tension, which in a horror movie, that would be perfect. Having him have that character, that darker part of himself that builds, have the tension build throughout the movie and have it come to some sort of apex, it would be amazing. He's proven his acting, he's proven dramatic chops, even with that small little bit in WrestleMania 2020 when he told John Cena about how he had endless chances. He's the bully, not the hero. He's able to emote a lot of humanity and at the same time turn that into just crazy manic energy, just be insane. He also expertly plays the dual roles between servant, killer, whatever he wants to do, whatever he is. He has that difference between his Mr. Rogers persona and the fiend, which I love that. I loved tuning in in 2019, watching the Firefly Funhouse develop over time and then eventually just getting little glimpses. Finally seeing The Fiend, see him destroy Finn Balor at SummerSlam. It was awesome. So the prospect of giving this guy his own movie where he's in control, he's able to control how seriously this character is taken. He doesn't have to worry about management screwing with him or messing up his character. It, that, that's the issue with wrestling is your character can be destroyed so easily. And like with the Goldberg thing, it, it was very unceremonious. And I was heartbroken to see him go and find out that his match against Randy Orton in WrestleMania would be his last 2021. He deserved better than that, and that character deserved way better than that. So I'm kind of just spitballing, thinking about what a potential movie could be, why he would be so perfect for it. And I'm kind of surprised that, you know, he hasn't pursued this avenue before. I can't imagine he would have done it in his time in between phases in WWE where he was gone because... You know, he was dealing with a lot. Luke Harper's death 
clearly weighed heavily on him and I don't think that he was in a space to really be doing anything creative like that or you know putting himself out there but if WWE fucks things up again if he can't come to terms with management or you know they can't figure something out this Uncle Howdy character doesn't work out I would love to see him make right direct his own horror movie he would be perfect for it I think he has a lot to bring to the genre he it's underappreciated how much complexity that he really brings to these characters inside of WWE he builds them up so methodically and it always makes his clash with whatever wrestler he's fighting so epic but that's just my thoughts I don't know if you guys care if you, you're into wrestling or anything let me know in the comments what you think love to hear it have a good one